Yes. Yeah? Yes. This is Rob Swan here at 80 degrees south on our renewable energy test expedition. And what is fantastic as I sit here is that we have two amazing technologies from India. And for those of you who might not know, I've spent four years of my life in India, uh, mainly on a bicycle going round your great country. And what people fail to realise about India is you have 1.4 billion people you have 900 million people that don't have plug-in refrigerators and technology just sitting there. But in the West, we have to understand that in India, there's, you, you all have every right to have everything that the West has. So all of the appliances, all of the equipment, all of the vehicles, all of that energy using um, <coughs> additions to, to life in India. And, you know, if you get that energy in the same way the West has got it and made the same mistakes that the West has done getting our energy, you know, we all swim. So what's fantastic, what we're seeing here are two types of different energy. One is our fuel from Bangalore, the second generation biofuel through Shell. At the moment it's been made from wood chips. Uh, in the future it may be even made from some of the garbage that plagues that great city of Bangalore. We all know that, uh, plagues the world. So we've got that technology on biofuels and this technology is fantastic. And what it's all about really is saying, well, A, this, this technology comes from a much more environmentally friendly way compared to our normal silicon solar panels. So this organic way is cleaner. Now what we do know is that this technology might only produce about six or seven, maybe up to 10% efficiency. A big silicon panel, you know, can go from 10, 12% all the way up to 20%. But what's great about this is cheaper to make. And uh, having solar in India at six or 10% is a hell of a lot better than having no solar. So this is a great start, it's flexible. One day, I hope to be able to live in a tent in Antarctica, uh, just like this one, entirely powered by this, because this could be on the surface of the entire tent. Even maybe my clothing one day, as we're making journeys in Antarctica, could be made of this organic solar material. So I'm really proud to be here with Sharu, a well done team here. Um